Hey there, this is Elliot. Have you ever been stuck on the iPhone locked to owner message, also known as iCloud activation lock? It can be frustrating, right? You've even stumbled upon some costly services promising to remove it. But let me tell you, not everything that glitters is gold. Some of those methods may not be as reliable or safe as they claim. What if there's a better, safer, and free alternative to bypass this problem? Well, you're in luck. Today, we're exploring multiple ways to remove that iCloud activation lock from your iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. And the best part? These tricks are entirely legal and always work. So, shall we start the journey? Let's get right into it. Here is a heads up, folks. This guide is only for folks who own their device, but need to find their login details. We're not here to help anyone break the law by bypassing security on devices that aren't theirs. Be cool and respect others' rights and the law. Our video plays according to YouTube's rules and guidelines. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. You've probably encountered many services offering to remove the iPhone locked to owner message, right? Among them, a few standout options do the trick. They're efficient, and believe it or not, they're pretty hands-off. First up, picture this, an AI-powered unlocking web app. It sounds like sci-fi, but trust me, it's real. The Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant is pretty slick and quick and does what it says on the tin. Then there's Safe Unlocks. It's another gem in an ocean of underwhelming options. These folks know their stuff and learn how to simplify the whole process. Next up, have you ever heard of Lock to Owner? A lifesaver for many, it's a trusty tool to keep in your arsenal against those iCloud locks. Last but not least, iUnlock App brings its A-game to the table. Ease of use and swift results are their forte. These are all solid service options I've found reliable in a pinch. Don't take my word for it. Give them a shot and see how it pans out for you. We're about to delve into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. So stay tuned to get the lowdown on that. Quick update. These unlock services work best in first world countries. Suppose you're having trouble accessing or prefer not to use them. Worry not, we've got something for you too. We offer 250 unlocks every week for our faithful video viewers. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. In your comment, let us know your device model like Samsung S9, IMEI, and country. You're automatically entered into our weekly draw when you complete these steps. It's as easy as one, two, three. Good luck. Okay, it's time to get down to business. First, you want to open your browser on your phone or computer and head over to unlockhere.com. This AI-powered web app is designed to help unlock mobile phone restrictions like activation locks. When you get there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Just let Nifty know you're here for an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. Next, you need to select the kind of device you have, an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now, you'll need to enter your IMEI or serial number. If you've got an iPhone, that'll be your IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs, especially if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. If you don't see an IMEI, no worries, enter your serial number instead. So, how do you find that? Well, with your locked device, hit the sleep button, press it again, and tap the I on the bottom right. This will show your device info. Don't forget to enter your device details in this part. Then you'll need to add some basic info to attach the order to your account. Make sure it's accurate info because you'll receive a confirmation code through email that you'll need to confirm your order. Once that's done, agree to the terms. Confirm you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. There's a quick captcha to verify that you're not a robot and tap start process and you're all set. Keep an eye on your email for a confirmation code. If it doesn't arrive, don't forget to check your spam or junk folder. Once you've got the code, take that code, enter it back to the unlock here page, and input that here. Confirm once again that you're not a robot. Once you've done this, your unlock process is underway and your device will soon be opened. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. 
Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If ever this didn't work for you, we've got other methods for those who prefer a different approach. All right, guys, let's explore more alternatives for removing the iCloud activation lock. These methods not only work, but they're also legit. It's all about providing unique insights and clear directions without rehashing the same old stuff. One solution that stands out is contacting Apple support. If you can provide proof of purchase, Apple can remove the activation lock. Sure, it might take a bit longer, but it's a 100% legal method and does the job. Another way to unlock your device is to contact the previous owner. If you bought a second-hand iPhone and it's locked to their iCloud, they can remove the lock remotely. They need to enter their Apple ID and password, and you're good to go. Another method worth noting is the Erase All Content and Settings option. If you've somehow managed to get into the device settings and the Find My iPhone feature is off, you can erase the content and settings to remove the activation lock. Remember that all your data will be lost, so use this as a last resort. Finding the best method can feel like a maze, but these solutions are straightforward and reliable. They offer practical ways to bypass the activation lock without compromising the device's security. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for exploring these legal ways to unlock the iCloud activation lock. Stay tuned for more videos and remember, we're on this tech journey together.